It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Osgood. That famous chariot race from the 1959 movie Ben-Hur is considered a stunt masterpiece. Fast forward 55 years, and you can find stunt performers taking the fall in this spring's biggest hit. Lee Cowan shows us how they do it. Hey, Cap, how do we know the good guys from the bad guys? If they're shooting at you, they're bad. Being Marvel's star-spangled superhero has never been easy. Ow! Sure, Captain America's got that indestructible shield, but when Cap ends up in a bare-knuckled fight with a mysterious assassin, the Winter Soldier, it can make for a pretty rough day on set. It's a lot of butt-kicking today. Action movies have action for a reason. It sells tickets. Lots of them. But studio execs aren't too keen to put their big stars in harm's way. Which is why most of those working on big action movies like this one eventually start seeing double. Good. Right now, we should probably be quiet because they're rolling. That's Sam Hargrave. He spends his time on the sidelines until the action gets a bit too rough for Captain America's Chris Evans. That's when Sam steps in. As Captain America's stunt double. I exist because I am expendable. In all honesty, it's because if I get hurt, I can be replaced. Not the job description most of us would sign up for, but then again, being a Hollywood stunt person is no ordinary job. Stunts have been around as long as there have been cameras and film, giving audiences the thrills that kept them coming back for more. When you see Harold Lloyd dangling off that clock, that's really him, and he's really hanging there. Film historian Leonard Malton says stunt work didn't actually start as a profession. The assistant director used to go to the front gate in the morning and would say, you, can you ride a horse? And if you said yes, you want to make five bucks? Sure. <laughs> in the early days of silent films, actors like Buster Keaton thought that stunts were just part of the job. He once broke his neck landing on a railroad track and didn't know he had done it. He got up and did more? Yeah. Years later, a doctor doing an x-ray said, when did you break your neck? And he said, I never broke my neck. He said, yes, you did. But then came a rodeo cowboy named Yakima Kanat. He was the first to make doing stunt work a specialty. It was this death-defying stunt done in John Ford's stagecoach and then again in Zorro's Fighting Legion that made Kanat a legend. At a certain point, he positions himself on the reins between the horses, drops down onto the ground, lets the stagecoach run over him, and then grabs the back of the stagecoach and mounts it again. Question, how do you practice that? <laughs> Good point, yeah, exactly. How, how, how do you go about developing that idea and then getting better at it? I can't imagine. <laughs> It was so remarkable, and Steven Spielberg paid homage to it more than 40 years later in Raiders of the Lost Ark. But while they may be adrenaline junkies, don't call stunt people daredevils. In the swirling seas of danger on any action movie, they see themselves more as risk calculators than risk takers. I do miss, you know, some aspects of it. Tony Angelotti was Johnny Depp's stunt double in the Pirates of the Caribbean blockbusters. But he knows all too well just how things can go horribly wrong. The sequence was him running out of the cannibal village pole vaulting across the ravine and landing on the other side. 
the skewer causes him to go off balance and he falls into the ravine. And he's supposed to unravel like a yo-yo. This is video of Tony rehearsing that stunt, some 80 feet in the air. I basically count it down, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. But uh, instead of unraveling, I go into a free fall. Go! Oh, oh, yeah! no. And then they hit the brakes on the descender, and I spun like a top. Oh, yeah! no. oh my god! Oh, 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 get me down! It was just the centrifugal force of you just... The centrifugal force literally ripped my pelvis apart. Miraculously, Tony went back to work, but he was never the same. I basically said, you know, this is what I do and this is what I love, and I, you know, won't let this defeat me. The job of keeping everyone safe falls to the stunt coordinator. This is the knee where he follows him back. He'll be, he'll be closer now. He's in and on Captain America, the Winter Soldier, the job falls to Tommy Harper. We have been working on this fight scene literally for four months. You got to be out a little bit more. You got to come forward a bit. Today, he's rigging a scene called a ratchet. You'll just feel it. Just lean into it and just ride it. Not too much, you know. It's a cable attached to a harness that helps a stunt person fly through the air. Good. All right. Ready? Count it off. Three, two, one, go! Yes. Three, two, one, go! Yes. We did one the other day with Sam Hargrave, our Captain America double. Go! We flew him 40 feet into the windshield of a car. Go! For Sam Hargrave, hitting hard like that is what he gets paid to do. If the shot is going to be epic, if it's going to be awesome, and to make it epic or awesome, you have to hit the ground and possibly hurt yourself, I choose to hit the ground and possibly hurt myself because in my silly stuntman mind, an epic shot, it lives forever on film, and, you know, I'll get over it in a couple months. This is you? That's me. There's a saying among stunt people that only the good ones grow old, and Jeannie Epper is proof of that. Epper was Linda Carter's stunt double on Wonder Woman back in the 70s. She's now in her 70s, and she's still hunting for stunt work. Why? I don't know. I've asked myself that a million times, and I know it's not just for the money. I mean, we do make good money, but... You love it. I love it. It's where I'm the most alive. We first met Jeannie back in 1979 on the set of Wonder Woman as she prepared for this. What do you think? It's going to break you from the weight of my body. Any Falling height, through a glass height. skylight. <laughs> back then, Jeannie stood out okay, as one of the few women in the business. All right? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, look, look. look. Hey. look. It could take just as hard a hit as the guys could. Uh, yeah, I can. I thought in my young and rowdy and rugged days, I thought I could do anything. Looked like you could. Yeah. I never, just never thought I couldn't do it. Still, for all the wonder and amazement they provide, stunt people rarely get the red carpet treatment. There's no Oscar for best stunt. But welcome to the 2013. There are the Taurus World Stunt Awards, one place where fancy gowns and band aids go hand in hand. The band aid actually is just covering up a little cut I got at work on Captain America 2. That's Heidi Moneymaker. Scarlett Johansson stunt double in The Avengers. She won the Taurus Award last year for best fight. <laughs> so many people here, so many wonderful people. We found Captain America's stunt double there too. And the Taurus goes to... And guess what? Sam Hargrave. <laughs> Sam won for the hardest hit. Once again, 
bending a car with his body. They crash, they burn, they fall, they get back up. All in a day's work. And yet, most of us don't even know their names. It takes a lot of uh, time to get uh, art the way you want it. And for us, this is art. Action is art. Next, the kindest cut. <laughs> 